Maybe you want more hot things to do in your game. Maybe you want holidays that reflect your own life or lifestyle. You could be craving variety, or in my case, you want to add that sweet, sweet chaotic energy right into the mix. Whatever you're feeling, there's a holiday idea for you. Hopefully, don't quote me on that. It might be a fat lie. Alas, please drop a like and a subscribe if you feel like it, and let's jump into seven holiday ideas that you can add to your game. Do note that holidays come with the season's expansion pack. Let's kick things off with Easter, or you could totally call it something like Flower Bunny Day. I promise that will make sense soon. Now, move over Father Winter because the Flower Bunny is here. This is a great holiday to add and it adds so much fun into the game. For traditions, I have Decorate, which is pretty much standard, before the two key festivities, which are the Easter Egg Hunt and the Flower Bunny. Now, the Easter Egg Hunt means a range of household objects will now have the option to be searched, Hedges and kitchen counters are great for this. And in doing so, Sims can find a decorative egg from the collection. It's a great way to kickstart the collection and it's just a bit of a fun take on the chocolate Easter egg hunt. And I know you didn't ask for Easter eggs when you clicked on this video, but you got them. Now the flower bunny may just be my favorite thing in the entire Sims 4. This random rabbit will rock up on the holiday and start showering your Sims with petals, whether they like it or not. They'll also make random flowers appear and honestly be the cutest thing to ever set foot in the game. If you're looking at the dancing flower bunny and thinking, I hate this. Then the great news is that you can fight the flower bunny. That's right, bring on the holiday violence. Overall, it just adds a lot of fun and randomness into the game, which I love. Now I added attending a holiday ceremony, which just involves you using your Sims phone to then disappear for a few hours before returning and having a grand meal to this holiday. But these are totally optional as they kind of just fill it out rather than bringing the fun and uniqueness that the egg hunt and the flower bunny do. I also added spring decorations to this and made it so that Sims got a day off work because I feel the flower bunny is a reason to celebrate. It's time for our second holiday which I've called Wild Winter and it brings all of the chaotic energy you never knew you needed. Now I named it Wild Winter for a reason, and you should schedule this event to be around the start of winter. Because the first tradition is the Polar Bear Plunge. For this tradition, your sims need to enter an outdoor body of water while it's cold outside. You know, to unnecessarily freeze and get that adrenaline going. And that's just to kick off our Wild Winter. Because the next task is streaking. And the only thing better than one sim streaking is when the whole town gets involved too. Yes, this is the chaotic energy I was talking about, and quite simply, the chaotic energy we all need. Note I take no responsibility for any sims who die during this holiday. Make sure those winter clothes are on hand. And I padded this holiday out with the party spirit tradition, which basically means your sims have to have a chat or a joke with others or sing or dance. And with that, it's time for our next holiday. Are you ready for some spring cleaning? I know, a holiday based on cleaning? Really? Don't say no. But hey, in my opinion, it's better than talk like a pirate day. It's time to channel your inner Mari Kondo. This little side holiday consists of two traditions, being cleaning, because it wouldn't be much of a spring clean without it, and appreciating an object. Appreciating an object will see many everyday objects have an appreciate option added to them. And yes, this is where some of the Mari Kondo inspiration comes in. We need to find out what objects in our house do or do not spark joy. And a sim clapping uncontrollably at objects they've had for seven weeks quite simply sparks quite a lot of joy in myself. Appreciating an object also gives a hilarious inspired plus two moodlet where your sims are quite overwhelmed and impressed by a random thing and are quite simply living their best appreciative life. I love it. Now you could add thankful spirit into this holiday but personally I like it to be more of a minor holiday that just adds that little bit of fun into the overall game and isn't overly involved. I also have no decoration set and work will go ahead despite your sims newfound desperation to clean dishes. All right, on to holiday four and you need to grab your sunscreen and your beach towels and it's time for a summer vacation. Now this ties in very well with the update that lets Sims take a vacation in any world and it's also a nice tie in if you have the island living expansion pack. That being said, it's not essential as you can vacation wherever you please or even just have your Sim head out for a day. Of course, going on vacation is one of the tasks as is water activities. This can include swimming, having a water balloon fight, or if you have the backyard stuff pack, then slipping down the water slide works too. The final activity is to hit up the bar and enjoy a few drinks, just to complete that summer beachside vibe. Big shock, I've scheduled this event in summer. And while there are no decorations, I did mark it as a day off of work and school. Time for holiday idea five, which is Remembrance Day. 
Now, when I first made this, I had it being a bit more involved, but I think scaling it back to a small scale holiday is the way to go. What I really like about this one is that it adds some realism into the game in terms of providing a day to honor or pay tribute to relatives from the past. Of course, part of this is the remembrance tradition, which involves interacting with graves where a ghost is still attached or interacting with ghosts in game. You'll also notice a lot more ghosts are out and about on Remembrance Day. There's also a tradition to attend a holiday ceremony, which can be easily actioned from a Sims phone. I kind of think of this like going to a service for a recently passed relative, which I feel is a nice tie-in and once again added to realistic gameplay. Finally, I had Tell Stories. Now the idea behind adding this was to tell stories from the past and fondly remember a past sim. But in practice, I found this to be a little clunky. See how you go, but feel free to scale this holiday back if you're finding it clunky too. While there's no theme decoration, I did make it so sims had a day off work and school for this, but it is a holiday that could go either way. So of course, decide what's best for your playstyle and wishes. Candy, check. Scary outfit, check. Party outfit that's close to being naked. Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. But that's right, my friends, it's time for Halloween. This is a great holiday for any lovers of all things spooky, and even for people just looking to add a bit of variety into their game. It's also worth noting it pairs well with the Vampires game pack and all the spooky stuff pack, but they're not essential. For this holiday, we have decorating and wearing a costume, both are very easy to tick off and will set the perfect scene. Do note that decorations are set to the spooky option. Then we have a Halloween staple, being trick or treat, which will see random townies come to your door and you can choose to either give them a treat or trick them. I know what you're thinking and yes, it really does feel like Halloween. The final holiday task I added was spooky spirit, which is ticked off by performing a range of spooky tasks like engaging with ghosts, pumpkin carving if you have the spooky stuff pack, or playing haunted music on the pipe organ if you have the vampires pack. And with that, we're on to our final holiday idea, which is the summer barbecue. Now being an Aussie, I know a backyard barbie is very much an Australian thing, and I'm sure it extends further than just Australia. I set this one to be on a weekend, but made it so that if a sim has work, they will still have to go to work. As for tasks, we have invite guests over. For this to tick off, you'll have to also chat to your guests for a bit, I know, annoying, I just wanted to invite them over and ignore them. We also have barbecuing because it would be awkward if you invited people over for a barbecue and had no barbecue. Our final two tasks take a page from the summer vacation book and they're water activities and drinks. So go for a swim, have that water balloon fight and have your sim settle down with a nice cold beverage to enjoy. So those are all the holiday ideas. One thing to keep in mind is that if your calendar is getting extremely busy, you can alter seasons to go from seven days in length to 14 or even 28 days. Personally, I like to use seven, but if you want more spacing, know that the option is there. Of course, these are just ideas, so feel free to tweak them to whichever way you want for your game. And if you have any holiday ideas of your own, feel free to share them in the comments below. Alas, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.